So I walk into a Starbucks. I come back out and yeah, that GoPro 9, she's gone. What is going on everybody? It is the Full Throttle Hog and today I'm coming back to you with another video uh, kind of inspired because I was a victim of a theft. And I do take the responsibility for this because I left that crime of opportunity available and that just kind of inspired this video as we go into the rally months and how you can better protect some of your equipment, more specifically, your helmet. This video is not sponsored in any way. I purchased all this material with my own money, but there is a product out there that I want you guys, especially those that are involved with like Harley Davidson's and other cruisers. You know, we don't have the luxury of locking up our helmets like sport bikes do. If you're not familiar with this channel, we are a traveling mode of vlogging channel and we dabble into cinematic style videos. If you're into anything like that, I would greatly appreciate if you hit subscribe down below follow along let me know down in the comments if you subscribed and therefore I can get to know you a little bit better so crimes of opportunity pretty much happen when you have something of value and somebody who is a thief or maybe has those tendencies comes by and if that item wasn't easily accessible they would just move on but we make mistakes and I understand the common knowledge here it doesn't matter how long you are away from your bike folks you need to secure your gear which means take off the Senna system take off the GoPro lock it in your saddlebag or just bring it with you but with those rallies that are coming up and a lot of bikes being around uh, there is a product out there that's called lid locks now I've been using lid locks since Sturgis of last year and this product has worked great for me and the company in itself was great I mean the guy was an aerospace engineer that kind of came up with this uh, much smarter than I am so uh, I've been very pleased with the way that I can secure my helmet when I want to walk away for a little bit knowing that it's going to be okay. And speaking of motorcycle rallies, did you guys know that we have a seven part series from Sturgis 2020, which includes a pretty risque night out when we went to visit the nightlife in Sturgis. I will go ahead and throw a link it's going to be right up here so you guys can check that out for yourselves and just kind of get fired up for Sturgis 2021. Are you going to Sturgis 2021? Let me know down in the comments. The lid lock system is really simplistic to install uh, and it makes sense. It actually replaces one of the bolts in your U-clamp on your handlebars. From there, you will take your helmet, you place it on your mirror, and then you use the lid lock system and you lock in the D-rings of your helmet. Now, the caveat being that just like a car alarm, if somebody wants to steal your car, they're probably going to steal your car. However, if you have something like lid locks on your bike and your helmet is secured to the lid lock system, chances are somebody that's looking for that crime of opportunity is going to move on to another helmet that probably is not secured to the bike. This product is held up extremely well and they make it both in the single and the dual. I would highly recommend out of the gate, just get the dual, which means that you can get two lid locks with one key. It saves you a little headache down the road. I first started with one lid locks. I ended up switching it over to the two lid locks. So I've spent quite a bit of money with lid locks. The link is down in the description below so you guys can go and pick one up. Uh, but the cost versus the protection is awesome. Obviously, if you have a trunk or something like that, that you can throw your helmets in all together out of sight, out of mind, that's even better. But when you don't have that luxury, you want to look at something like lid locks. Guys and gals, again, this is not a sponsored video. This is just a product that I believe in. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what other security devices you use on your motorcycle to secure your gear. Guys, that's going to do it for today. Until next time, you ride safe, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.